Jeremy brought this up earlier, but the Brittany Griner situation has led to more people talking about the WNBA than ever before. You see all the woke mainstream media outlets doing everything they can to push the WNBA constantly. They're talking about all the social justice stuff they're doing. And now the last four months, it's just been Brittany Griner, Brittany Griner, Brittany Griner. And you have these people out there virtue signaling about the gender pay gap, all this nonsense. Well, how has that resulted for the NBA ratings? How is it done for the NBA WNBA ratings? Because when you look here in 2022, the only team right now who's actually going and getting 10,000 people to, to their stadium in the WNBA is the Seattle Storm. When you look at the Phoenix Mercury, 7.7. Uh, you see Minnesota Lynx at 7,000. Chicago Sky just under 7,000. Everybody else is 5,000 people or less coming Jeez. to these WNBA wow. games. So – you might think to yourself, wow, that's a big boost for the WNBA with all the press they're getting. You'd be wrong. Let's go back to 2019, the last full normal year of sports, because 2020, they didn't do any. 2021, still limited capacity due to COVID. 2019, you have one, two, three teams all right there around that 10,000 mark. Several others at 7,000, 6,000, 6,000, 5,000, almost six. Then you get to these other ones. Like, it's, it's worse. The ratings are worse <laughs> right now with everybody talking about it, with everybody bragging about, we love, we love BG, support the WNBA. But nobody is <laughs> Nobody's watching. watching yeah. Nobody. Like it's Phoenix the same. Mercury's, Phoenix Mercury, they're down 3,000. They've lost 30% of their fucking attendance with all this attention. It's and the guess, same thing we who, always say. Oh, go ahead, John. Go ahead. Guess who's actually still attending these games? It's men. It's not women. Women do not support the WNBA. They don't care. They don't 70 care. 70% of people that watch the WNBA are men. Yep. They don't care. And they're never going to care. They don't give a shit about this. And generally speaking, nobody does. This is ridiculous. We literally get more live stream viewers on Friday night tights than the most attended WNBA game. Like, come <laughs> on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> we are right now we got 1200 people watching the live stream we're pretty close to the indiana fever's average attendance number <laughs> yeah the indiana fever average 1700 people a game i feel pretty comfortable saying this that uh britney grounders lord and savior joe biden has probably never watched one single w <laughs> but he's gonna save her no, I, I imagine the people in the WNBA are a little too old for him. But it, it just <laughs> it, it, it does also go to show that a lot of people are like, why do you even talk about that anymore? Why do you give it attention anymore? It's because that, that doesn't actually mean anything. If we sit here and we roast something and we call this stuff out, it doesn't mean that more people are going to go and watch that thing because they're upset about it. The WNBA this year has had more eyes on them than they have in two decades. Yet nobody is watching. No one's going to these games because the product is shit. That's mm -hmm. why they don't get paid. That's why they don't get paid as much as NBA players because they can't get people to the stands and they can't get people to tune in. Uh, there's yeah. nothing. There's nothing sexist about it. Nothing. Like it. It's just. It's not a good product. That's the bottom line. If you're one of these nut jobs that believes in the uh, pay gap being anti-woman, go look at the modeling industry and then call me back. OK, let's look at how much women mm -hmm. make in the modeling industry versus men, because women are far more powerful and influential in the modeling industry. There's a reason Giselle makes like twice as much as Tom fucking Brady. Yep. Giselle is worth twice as much as Tom Brady. But you want to talk about pay gap? Get the fuck out of here, man. Look at the porn industry. Yeah, Exactly. And I am all for uh, female-led and all female-led films in the adult film industry. I'm a big, like, you know, representation for females. Uh, like, I some of my favorite, my, some of my favorite adult films have nothing but females in it. So I, I'm all for respecting women. Um, can't believe John's the one that introduced that one into the equation, so I can make. Yeah, that's common about knowledge. It. John of all people. <laughs> that's common knowledge. <laughs> I mean, b both men and women enjoy looking at beautiful women but as far as like male models go that that's one-sided that's lopsided and it's only a handful of women you're not going to see men go into chippendales with their wife but you'll see a wife go to a gentleman's club with their husband yes yes 100 percent yep
Yeah, WNBA sucks. Go, then go fuck himself. <laughs> uh, 